Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and I make health related videos. By the title, I want to wish you a happy Pride Month. In this video, I will be talking about the LGBTQ community. This video will be in my emotional and mental health playlist. I do have other videos in there if you want to watch more. And I am doing a Starbucks gift card giveaway in honor of Pride Month. I know certain locations celebrate it. They give like cute little rainbow stickers. I say some because apparently not all of them do it. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. Stay tuned for more info on that and let's get started with the video. To share the inspo behind this video i took the certificate sorry not the certificate i took this training in april literally april 4th um and it's about supporting lgbtq youth and out of home care i don't know if i've mentioned this in the past but i do work with the youth i've worked with the youth for about a, a more than two years now um and i'm so grateful for these trainings because it just reminds me of my career and my future because this is what I want to do. I want to um, support and empower the youth. In my experience so, working with the youth, I see the struggle that comes with being your true self. I've seen the pressure to try to fit in. Um, that's the age, you know, when, when you are exposed to new things, when you're figuring life and figuring your true self. Being part of the LGBTQ community does bring serious issues to your mental health, especially as you're barely developing and getting to know yourself, your true self. Um, so there are higher rates for suicide, there are higher rates for depression and overall mental health issues. That's a problem because no one should feel that way. No one should deal with these things because of what others feel about them. But that being said, I know this training was targeted towards the youth, but there was a good tip that I will use because I know I still do this sometimes and I know other people still do this to me. And that is learning how to use gender neutral language and conversation to encourage dialogue. So for example, like I mentioned, I have done this and people do this to me, especially growing up. When they ask, oh, where's your boyfriend or do you have a boyfriend? And think about that question and think about first is it necessary and second what if i identified who is the lgbtq community and someone's here asking me about my boyfriend think and i'm not ready to express that part of myself that intimate part of myself um think about how i would feel so we do this to younger children all the time and there was a good tip in that training that said let's change the dialogue let's change the the uh language it's very normal to ask this question but let's change the gender neutral language let's instead ask first of all like i mentioned if it's absolutely necessary like if you really need to know about their dating life um let's ask it in another way so let's maybe ask one so do you have a special someone that you're talking to or two we can ask um i forgot the second one but basically you guys get me by not saying boy or girl because it's the norm and it's just what we we think we are taking that stress off from someone who might possibly identify from the lgbtq community and I like that example because I believe it truly can take away stress from someone who does identify with the LGBTQ community. And I've heard many stories where people talk about their fear, uh, the anxiety that they get when family members ask about their dating life, and they are not ready uh, for many reasons to be open about that part. Um, I think it's a small change, but I think we can do something different. Like I keep repeating myself, if it is necessary to talk about that. So in the context of boundaries, I also want to share a video that was shared in the training. It's Vivian Cox from uh, the Orange is the New Black. She was really famous on that show. And it's her doing an interview with Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams was being Wendy Williams and she kind of crossed those boundaries. I feel like, okay, I don't know if it's in her job to do it, like the description, but it's just probably her as a person, but she kind of did um question vivian's body parts as a transgender woman and basically wendy asked did she get surgery on her chest area um uh, basically focusing on the body parts and vivian kind of like 
just answered and said you know we can talk about that after you know behind the cameras um, and basically just said every single person has a different story different experience being transgender and let's try to focus actually no this part I got from the comments it's a YouTube video so I will leave it in the description box you guys can go watch it but I'm such like I love going through comments and yeah a lot of the comments were saying people who were actually identifying with the LGBT sorry identifying with transgender um, they were even sharing and saying like that it was rude to focus on the body rather than the soul whenever you are talking to someone who is transgender and I do acknowledge that yeah we are curious sometimes and we want to ask these questions but what do you think about and be mindful about the boundaries and let people share what they want to share everyone's story like Vivian said is different their experiences are different but let's get to know them as a person versus their other experiences so yeah those were the two examples that I wanted to share from the training I want to talk about an article that I read in Dr. Miller's class. I'm sure I already talked about her for my ableism class. I'm sorry, for my ableism video. The course was called Social Order and Social Change and Dr. Miller is amazing. I literally want to reach out to her. I think I said that in the last video and I think I will reach out to her. Um, but we talked about everything and of course we talked about same-sex marriage rights, the labor, sorry the labor, the LGBTQ uh, movement and look this as you can see it's like so torn but I am a physical girl if you guys didn't know um, meaning that I prefer physical books versus digital it's just who I am also for these articles like this is a PDF but I printed it because I love highlighting and making notes as I read there's some history in here that was really interesting to me but I'm trying to get it oh like here lesbian activist the first couple married at San Francisco City Hall. Like literally, come on. I'm such a believer of change and I feel like the civil rights movement did that for me. It showed me how they got their voting rights, how they got to end segregation, when they all united together, when they all used the right tools, the right frameworks. This is exactly what this LGBTQ movement did in order to get their same-sex uh, marriage rights and it's so amazing. Like I won't get too much into detail on how they did it but the fact and the beauty is that they did it. And that it's possible so actually okay I don't want to quote all these things but I was reading this good book um, an autobiography from Steve Jobs and one of like the first pages before the chapter it was like a little quote it said those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do it something across those lines but um yeah I'm such a believer of change and I kept this because it reminded me of the civil rights movement we covered this issue for about two weeks and I will never forget a certain article I don't have it with me but it was basically covering the issue of being a person of color and part of the LGBTQ community because it's like double oppression that's what they shared their experiences were twice as hard as opposed to someone who was white and part of the LGBTQ community. I got emotional reading this article because I forgot the name of this person, but it it was like Ruben or Juan, I forgot the name, but he was my age. And he was sharing how he was telling his mom in the kitchen one day that, I really don't remember, I'm telling you, I don't have the article, but he was basically telling the mom, like making conversation and sharing something about like the LGBTQ um, issue. And the mom said, oh, I can't imagine having a gay son. Something across those lines. She said, oh man, that's my biggest nightmare, having a gay son. Something across those lines. And he was in fact part of the LGBTQ community. He was gay. In the article, he shares how hurt he was to hear those words from his mom because one, he knows that his mom loves him. And two, he loves his mom so much, but it just hurt so much to hear those words from someone. I'll never forget this article because I shed a tear because I 
reflected and I thought to myself, my mom is my best friend. I share everything with her. Um, whenever I go on dates or whenever I want advice on guys, like I trust her so much to get her advice and get her feedback and be open with that. And it hurt me so much to know that we have just one person. Like for me, I know there's millions of cases where this happens, especially in the Hispanic culture, but for me, it all just takes one person. And to know that this person, I don't know, Ruben or Juan, sorry, um, to know that he can do that with his mom or he lives in that fear. So it does break my heart to know that someone out there can't have that same experience with their parents. Um, and I shared that in class. I remember I raised my hand and I shared how emotional I got reading that section because I'm so close to my mom and I can't imagine a mother feeling this way about their child. I've also shared this on Instagram when I talked about racism and how it's all generational and a lot of these issues and a lot of this ignorance that is present in our world, I believe truly is all generational of what did your parents teach you? Did your parents teach you how to love and accept everyone equally despite their race, despite their sexuality, despite the color on their skin that is basically race, um, despite their gender, everything. Let me just clear out that it doesn't have to be a parent all the time, but whoever is around you, whoever is teaching you these values, these morals, um, I think that's so important. And it breaks my heart to know that this is the same issue. The same way that we have racism and discrimination, it all falls into the same category. Discrimination. That's not okay with me, in my opinion. And I see and recognize that this mother who is saying these comments probably was raised to think that way or probably saw that through her parents' logic and that's what she knows and that's the only thing she knows. And especially in the Hispanic culture, we're taught to stick to family and it's tradition. And I respect tradition, I'm all about culture, but I'm also all about humanity and who are we to discriminate love? That being said, I wanted to talk about Gary Vee. There's this video where he talks about freedom and what is true freedom and I loved it so much. I couldn't find it for you guys because his content is so great. He's an entrepreneur and he gives great advice on Instagram. Please follow him, I'll leave a um, at here. And in that video, he was basically talking about true freedom, what is it? And it made me think about this whole issue and this whole LGBTQ movement. Um, and in that video, he shared that true freedom is being your true self at all times with no Fs given. He does like the F word a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll leave his IG down below because he is so inspiring. I really hope that you seek your freedom and that is being your true self. Um, yeah, happy Pride Month once again. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but those are some of the things I wanted to share. As promised, if you're interested in the Starbucks gift card giveaway, please make sure to go to my Instagram. I will leave the link down below. Make sure you are following me there, and all you have to do is comment your definition of love. I will pick the winner in three days after this video is dropped, so please make sure to go do that if you're interested. I wish you good luck and I will see you in my next video. Please subscribe for more videos or like this video if you enjoyed it.